Chang Kong Chung Ji, The Empty City Scheme. In this video, we are once again turning our eyes to the Three Kingdoms period during the 200s AD, and for the first time, we are meeting Zhuge Liang, the famous statesman and military genius. By the time the Three Kingdoms, Wei, Wu, and Shu, had been firmly established in 220 AD, constant warfare plagued the lands. Zhuge Liang was prime minister of Shu, and after securing the southern and eastern fronts, turned his eye to conquer the kingdom of Wei in the north. The army of Wei was controlled by Sima Yi. Both generals had much respect for each other, and viewed the war very much like a game of chess against a clever opponent. You conquer this city over here, I conquer that city over there. I attack here, you will attack here, so I can lay an ambush here, which you will prepare for by sending out a scouting party here, that I will pretend not to see, so they can see my ambush, so when you focus your counter ambush, I will attack this other city over here instead. The Romance of the Three Kingdoms really is an amazing book, and I recommend everyone to read it. Anyways, to the story. In the spring of 228 AD, Zhuge Liang raised an army to march north and attack the Kingdom of Wei. He sent one of his generals with the bulk of his army to defend the important city Jieting, which served as the base of operations for the campaign north. However, the general and his army were obliterated in a crushing defeat almost immediately, and the base of operations fell into enemy hands. Zhuge Liang found himself with only a handful of soldiers and no provisions in enemy territory, with the great general Sima Yi on his way with a massive army. He traveled to a small city nearby and convinced the mayor, who didn't really like Wei, to allow him to rest there for a day. The following morning, the entire Wei army led by Sima Yi arrived at the city gates. Zhuge Liang was completely surrounded on all sides and had nothing but a few hundred civilians in the city. Calmly, he ordered the city gates opened and sent out a few workers with brooms to clear the sidewalk. Sima Yi was confused. Next to him, his son cried, Let's charge in and kill Zhuge Liang! But Sima Yi thought long and hard. Atop the city gates, he saw Zhuge Liang peacefully playing the Gu Zheng. Sima Yi felt that there must be a hidden trap somewhere. Why else would Zhuge Liang, the genius, simply open the gates? He must have found additional troops somewhere currently laying in ambush. Against the violent protests of his son, Sima Yi ordered the entire army to retreat, lest they spring the trap. Naturally, no trap ever existed. This Cheng Yu represents the pinnacle of military warfare and being able to conceal your weakness through reverse psychology. Naturally, its use is quite limited since it's based on deception and asymmetrical information between two parties that both know each other very well. However, imagine that you are playing chess against your sibling that you've played against many times and you both know how good you are at chess. If you leave an opening that is so stupid that your sibling thinks that wasn't a mistake, it was a trick, and they don't act on it giving you the advantage, you have successfully completed the empty city scheme yourself.